we got Q648 heading towards us as CSXK423 sets here in the siding at Kelly, Kentucky. I wanted to get a side view shot here for you, but unfortunately there's power lines in the way and I can't get to the point where I can get a safe shot. Q648 is being led by 3152. And the K train has two UPs and a CP unit on it. It's hauling ethanol today. It's K423. We're on the CSX Henderson subdivision, which runs between Nashville, Tennessee, and Evansville, Indiana. colors starting to come into play here in western Kentucky. Here's your top-down view. We're about 120 feet in the air right now, for those of you that are wondering. If we get fortunate, and the K train gets a signal right away, we'll include him departing in this uh, live feed from the drone. Any of you folks live out in the uh, Strasburg area? I'll be for rail fanning the area around uh, between Wheeling, West Virginia and Strasburg next week, headed up for the Historic Transport's uh, photo charter at Strasburg on Sunday. I'll be rail fanning up with uh, Ryan Scott and several other friends along the way. the two uh, DPUs in the middle of the train. Of course, the drone is way down the way from where I'm standing. If you can see the bridge way down the line, that's where I'm at. So all the audio is coming from my controller location. And if you're commenting or reacting to the post or the live feed, I can't really say much until I get done with this uh, post because uh, when you're flying the drone, that's all you do is fly the drone. So I can't do any commenting or anything like that on the, until after it's finished. Here comes our DPU past the um, 423's power. We're going to move over to the other side here.
as soon as I gain a little bit of altitude, get above by these power lines. Well, the tail of the end is uh, through the switches down here. We'll see how quickly uh, K423 gets out of the siding. I've got about uh, 10 minutes left on the battery life here before I have to start back to the home point. Switch just went over. Oh, we, we got a switch that just moved over. So hopefully he'll be moving here quickly. Tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna fly back and I'm gonna get into a different position here. Oh, got a headlight. Okay, we're gonna reposition folks. Stay tuned. Gotta to get to where I can see where I'm going. This is about my fourth live feed from a drone. We're gonna go back down here to the switch and get him as he comes out. You can wave at me and my fellow rail fan, Steve Miller, on the bridge as we go by. Because <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and turn it around and get this view for you. Well, I'm not going to do that one. We're going to go back over and get the signals. off the side here there he comes and we're a good safe clear distance from him so I can also get a picture as he comes by CXX K423 southbound in South Kelly Kentucky on the Henderson subdivision
is a loaded ethanol train. You know where it's headed, Steve? Headed down south. It, Steve says it's hauling 2.4 million gallons of ethanol. That's a lot of ethanol. Yeah, see if we can get a little bit of a different view here. Not exactly sure why it happens, but uh, this live stream is being done through a service called Restream.io, and it loses some quality in the color rendition and clarity for some reason. Um, it only streams at 1080 or 720 through the DJI app, so something we have to deal with for the time being. I'm sure the DJI will come out with improvements to the app as time goes by. Well, folks, we hope you enjoyed this live view from a drone. And if you have to be out trackside today, as always, stay safe and have a blessed day.